I arrived here in 2003 at a little town called San Marcos La Laguna on Lake Atiplan in Guatemala. Understanding, f able to feel that this was the place I had been trained to work, the place I was going to do my healing, teaching work. And a few months later I got a visit from the Chocolate Spirit and she led me on a merry little journey to find out why chocolate was one of the most important and powerful deities of the ancient Mayans, the Aztecs, the Toltecs, and the Olmecs in this part of the world. The local shamans use alcohol for training their students. The anthropologist in Pana knew of no one in Guatemala or Honduras that used chocolate for ritual or spiritual purposes. I got on the web, I got into private anthropological databases, I looked um, up old friends apprenticing in Mayan shamanism, and no one knew anything. Everyone said, okay, you've got, you can read in any guidebook that chocolate is one of, was one of the most powerful and useful and valued things for the ancient Mayans, but no one knew what they did with it. So eventually, the chocolate spirit led me to chocolate with the original compounds in it, and I began using it, understanding that chocolate works very different than what uh, most everyone was used to. It was overlooked in the 1960s because it doesn't work like a psychedelic. It doesn't take you on a trip, so no one paid any attention to it. But it's one of this planet's most important and most powerful facilitators for inner work, for creative work, for connecting to whatever you want to connect to, for a productive workplace or corporate focus, for shamanic journeying, or for any multidimensional connecting that you want to do. I now get several emails a week from therapists all over the world, from yoga teachers to um, standard psychologists telling me that chocolate is one of the most amazing things they've ever used. It's helping them and their clients. There are people all over the world running cacao ceremonies now, groups that use chocolate as a facilitator. And I'm packed here. This place is full of folks. Um, I'm usually here in the dry season, which is the North American winter, and classes teaching what I learned to do with cacao as a facilitator. Now what I do with cacao is I teach people how to get out of their own way, how to process the pain body, the density, the dark shadow, so you have room inside for who you are how to end the cycle of dramas, pain, suffering, struggle, so you have room inside for a lot more fun, more power, more light, more love, more energy, more play, and more healing, especially to other people. And uh, would you like to tell us, like in uh, Western culture we use a lot of chocolate, and in the world, global world one, so what's the difference between this uh, normal chocolate and uh, ah cacao you are using? I'm using traditionally processed chocolate that I call ceremonial grade. Now, a chocolate like Hershey's or Cadbury's is missing about 99% of the active ingredients. Lint or green and blacks is missing about 80% of the active ingredients. The raw chocolate on the market is widely variable from missing say 10 or 15 percent to missing about 75 or 80 percent. The raw foods chocolate, if you use the powder, every bunch of powder I've ever had has been different. Some of it I could use in a ceremony. Some of it, mm, it's, it's strange. The nibs, the little broken pieces of chocolate uh, available in the markets and the health food stores and off the internet, most of them come from South America, and the South American sources are 10 to 15 percent weaker than the 
what I'm getting from Guatemala and Central America. So the processing of chocolate, the fermenting, the drying can change what's in it tremendously. Chocolate is more variable than wine. The next batch of chocolate from the same indigenous people out of the same rainforest, and I won't want it. While it's great chocolate and would make a yummy, tasty treat, it doesn't have the compounds or the energies in it for the work that I do. So, when I need chocolate, I ask the chocolate spirit where to go. And she sends me to wholesale markets, to distributors, to indigenous towns. I find what I'm looking for and bring it home.